Now, the Brighton Half Marathon has become mired in controversy after it emerged that this year's course was 146 metres short. The winner of the event last month says it's left her angry and upset because it puts her place as an elite entrance in the London Marathon in doubt. Well, the error came to light after a number of runners, many of whom got personal bests on the day, found their GPS watches showed they hadn't run a full 13.1 miles. Well, our reporter Juliet Parkin is in Brighton for us now. And Juliet, this is a major event and it rages a huge amount for charity. It does seem extraordinary that such a mistake was made. Well, yes, and it's not the first time, so it would seem. Back in 2012, it's alleged that the course was too long and now for the past three years, too short. So why should we care? Well, athletes train very hard for these events. And for one elite athlete who travelled all the way from Cornwall to run, well, there was a lot riding on this race. Finishers at this year's Brighton Half Marathon. But despite their efforts, it would appear they didn't go quite the distance. Even Fatboy Slim shaved time off his personal best. Some predict the race was about 150 metres short. If you're going to measure a course for 13.1 miles, it should really be 13.1 miles. Yes, some people aren't that bothered. And, you know, to be honest, if, you, if you're enjoying yourself, an extra 100 metres isn't that much of a big deal. But for a lot of people, it does make a difference. Especially for top athletes like Eleanor Davis, who won the women's race in a course record and personal best, qualifying her for elite entry to the London Marathon. It's really disappointing because I've been training in Ethiopia as well for the three weeks before it and I targeted that race in particular because I wanted to do it, a fast half marathon and essentially now that result doesn't mean anything. It means as much as, say, a multi-terrain half marathon or, or a fun run, really. We broke the news to amateur runners on the seafront today. So how do you feel about the fact that it might have been a little bit yeah, too short? Yeah, it's a bit disappointing, but I think it's happened before when it was longer. So to be honest, I just ran for fun. I don't care much about whether it's too long. I was never going to qualify for Olympics. <laughs> I think they're disappointed, but at the end of the day, if they had fun, that's the main thing. But I suppose, uh, you know, it's not cheap, so possibly a little bit short-changed, but as it, it wasn't my first one, so... Uh, not too bad. Starting on Madeira Drive, the Brighton Half Marathon course takes in many of the city's key sites. It's alleged that the easterly turn point around mile four at Ovingdean was not adjusted after changes were made to the start line. Event organisers The Sussex Beacon, a local charity, said they're working with UK Athletics to investigate concerns about the course length. Not a major issue for many fun runners, but for elite athletes, potentially a career-changing mistake. Well, let's not forget there were over 8,000 finishers this year, many of them raising thousands of pounds for charity, and for a lot of them, just to finish was a fantastic achievement. But others will be rating for the results of that investigation to find out if their lifetime bests were indeed valid. Juliet, thank you.